Hey everybody, we thought it would be fun to show you some before and after videos of how we remodel our barn. So take a look and see what we've done. What we've done tonight, or what we're and going to finish up doing, is we're putting these beams putting these beams up they're gonna go across the header or the header sits on them on both sides there here so that's gonna look really good it's kind of like the same premise that we did or same concept that we did for the pantry that we was doing earlier so that's pretty nice but now we're gonna wrap these beams the header we're gonna wrap these these one by ten beams that I just paid about nine thousand dollars for at an antique store, and so we're gonna wrap the header with that and uh, go from there. But these are some. So we're taking the one bys, get sanding them a little bit, and kind of bringing the life back to them, if you will. So this is good. This is what we'll trim our header with. Looks real pretty. You got some nice red cones in there. Off of the floorboards of an old tobacco barn in Gadsden County. Looks pretty good. Can't, this videos just don't do it justice, do they? So you got real nice. Uh, put them up with lag bolts. Looks good. Start doing. We're gonna start insulation and these exterior walls here and then we're going to put luon or boarding batten so this will all be insulated here this is uh the luon that we put up i should have moved some stuff so you can see it but uh anyway so what we'll do with, is we'll board and batten this and this will be the dining room you can see how we went up here all the way up so the board and bat, and we'll put a one by four. Uh, I like my finger, my precise finger. We'll put a one by four along there. Did I have a booger? Did my finger have a booger in it? Oh no. Okay, cool. <laughs> Crack myself up. Anyway, so we'll do that side, but we're going to hold off on that because there's some electrical in there we want to be able to access, and then we'll come back and do that. We'll we'll do this. We'll. We'll take the Luan on up to that, and then uh, we'll take it on up in between all this. Probably get that done tomorrow. Maybe work on it some this evening. But it's going to look really nice. So we're doing the one by on the bottom, the Luan, and then a one by and a furring strip to kind of match up. So we've done three, and we'll put trim in between where you see the light coming through there. That will have trim on it, so you won't see that. But so we've done three, we got five more to do to have this wall finished up. But it'll tie in nicely to the dining room. This is part of the dining room that we're doing. And so those walls will come up on that side to match the ceiling as well. And we'll do board and batten all the way around. It's a long, tedious process. So tonight we got the window casings built for the dining room. Turned out really nice. And so, we've got this one done. Obviously we ain't got the baseboards in yet, but and that one done. Got all the board and batten up in the dining room. Got the blue on up here. So all we gotta basically do is just caulk it and paint it and we're done with this room put the baseboard in it and we will be good to go so pretty excited about these windows Gina found them online how to do it like that and so we were able to get them done they turned out really but good but the 
dining room. We just gotta put another coat of paint on the dining room and it will be done. Just time we sit in the dining room and living room, we think, man, we're so close. And then we walk into other rooms and we're like, we're not. Thanks for watching. There's going to be a little icon here to click on to subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and click that now and just follow along with us as we post more videos about the things that we do around here at Hamiltonville Farm. We're going to be posting videos about the barn renovation and things that we do around the hobby farm just in our everyday lives. We'd love for you to join us on this journey. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment below on the things that you liked about the video and of course we would love for you to share us with your friends. Also like us on Instagram at Hamiltonville Farm and like our Facebook page, Hamiltonville Farm. Thanks a lot.